Surfing taught me patience. When you're out in the water, you wait for the perfect set to roll in. And sometimes, it doesn't happen. But when it does, it's like nothing else matters. It's me, my board, and the energy of the water. The same patience I have in the water directly translated into growing what I have today. I needed to be disciplined in my work and patient for growth. I remember the first time I held a wrench, tucked behind the family trailer, taking the training wheels off my PW50. I wanted to keep up with my older brothers while they rode their motorcycles. Not much has changed since then. Being the youngest in the group has always given me a reason to do something great, to be noticed. I'm still proving myself. Being 22 in an industry inundated with competitors twice my age has made me more driven. I debated on going to college. It didn't feel right, but I felt the social pressure. I thought it was expected of me at the time. On my first day of college, I got a call from a family member that family friend and mentor of mine was passing away. In that moment, I realized Life's too short to not do what you love. And I love to work with my hands, build, and design things. Later that day, a friend and I were going to a good friend of ours going away party for college. And we're heading down a main street and we're going about 40 to 50 miles an hour. I T-boned a car that was making a left turn into neighborhood. My bike burst into flames. And next thing I remember is flying through the air a couple hundred feet and hitting the ground and trying to stand up, realizing I had multiple broken bones and I couldn't make it. While in my hospital bed, I knew that if I wanted to build something I was proud of, I had to start now because I wasn't guaranteed tomorrow. After weeks of putting my thoughts to paper, Band Speed was born. It was always in the back of my mind to make a product that still felt true to the things I love. Traveling, surfing, riding motorcycles, and getting my friends together. There was no better fit at the time than Sprinter Vans. I had seen the trend of these vans begin to take off, but noticed there wasn't really anything out there that bridged the gap of design and functionality. Orders grew pretty rapidly for all our parts, accessories, and vehicles. We needed to get more space, we needed to get more staff, we needed to increase production. We simply couldn't keep up. I initially started converting them in my parents' driveway, then growing to the back alleyway of a shop. We'd roll out our tools during the day, then growing into 3,000 square feet, moving different cities to get another building, and then essentially having three, four buildings all in one, storage units, and now we moved to our new spot, which is just over 26,000 square feet. We grew over 30 people and we ship parts all over the world. It's been quite a journey to get here and I feel extremely privileged to work with some of the best builders in the industry. From fabricators to design, to upholstery, to our incredible sales crew, our team is what sets us apart. My passion for action sports and bringing people together hasn't stopped. And trust me, here at Vanspeed, we're only getting started. My name is Duran Morley, and I am the founder of Vanspeed.